Hi, it's Zena, we're talking princess, and welcome to another vlog haul. This one was a fun one because it was two separate orders real quick from Lug Live on the day that Amy and Ashley were live for Valentine's Day. And the other is a luglife.com order where I used a coupon and a discount. They had a sale. Anyways, so here it goes. I did get three separate orders and two separate shippings, but I got two pens with all of that. So I got the Cat's Orchid, yay. I don't remember if I have these or not. And the other one I got is Bloom Sand. Hey, you know I love my Bloom Black, but Bloom Sand is lovely as well. It's nice neutral with florals. Okay, so thank you, Log, for the pens. I always like fun surprises. The first item is the brand new Alpine. Yeah, this was a bit crazy that day and it did come available after and I think it's available on longlife.com right now. Um, I don't know if it's sold out or whatever. I did not look, but it was there. Uh, so good luck finding your color. Um, I think with the popularity of the neons or the brights as they're called um, and the Alpine, we may see more coming. I am pretty sure. That's just my expert opinion. But so this is the Alpine in violet. This is one of the new colors. This was released basically on the day of that live. And if you were watching, it was kind of insane. Like all of the colors, all of them sold out before we even saw the bag. I mean, we got a quick flyby of it on the screen, but um, yeah, they were gone before we even got started. They were still doing intros and it was gone. They did a restock and then they sold out again. So um, very popular. We will take a look at this bag compared to the Ranger. If you're a Ranger fan, you could probably see obvious reasons why we would do that. And um, we'll look at it versus all of the Rangers. But for now, let's just look at the Alpine by itself. It is a north-south type bag. It has a top handle. It also has a crossbody shoulder strap that's removable and adjustable. It has a signature cell phone pocket with a soft lining and the magnetic closure. It's a vertical slot. It has this bottom pocket here, a nice zipper opening. It is just a plain pocket. I can't feel the RFID tag, so I don't think it's RFID up there. I can't remember if she said it was, but it does have that giant zipper pull thing. And this is the kind that you can clip off. Now the clip remains on the zipper pull. I kind of wish that that was reversed because then I have the clip on this piece that I could then use to clip on to other things, either as a bag charm like that or as a keychain. Obviously you can use other things to clip it, it just has that little loop. And it is a loop of fabric too, so you know, you can do whatever, <laughs> you can do different things with it. Uh, but I like it, I mean, yeah, it's cool. But it is nice, it definitely can find your zipper and or a bag charm just right there like that. Um, it's fun if you have multiple bags that have that, like the Sonata, you can, switch them and mix and match your patterns and colors if you so desire, that kind of thing. The Lug logo on this one is the newer inlaid version of the metallic lug there, that's kind of nice. And this front pocket does have its own gusset, so it's about a finger and a half of thickness, so you're not sharing space with the inside, it has its own space. And it's hooded, so you have a little bit of extra room if you can work your way in there, but I love this smooth zipper, so, so love that. All right, on the back, there is another pocket. It is a hidden magnet closure, which I love. And it's just a full back pocket. And again, I don't see or feel any tags in there. No organization inside, just a nice big pocket. Both sides have the magnetic cargo pockets. It's a magnetic and elastic. And that's really, really nice. It does fit your um, chuggies and uh, regular water bottles. And that's pretty much it for the outside. The zipper on the top kind of has a, like the top half of the bag kind of comes off. So you can kind of see it curves around and then towards the back. It is a double zipper, but one side was behind the strap here. Here's the strap. It is the nice wide strap, which I like a lot. I like them all, it's fine. If I don't like the one it's on, I just switch them around, I don't care. We've got the warranty card, we've got silica pack, we've got tissue remnants. Let's see if there's anything else in here before I show. Okay, we do have some tissue. 
So in this bag, there's your top and you're really gonna look at that anterior pattern. I think it's super fun and colorful. I think it's the same pattern for all of the new brights, which is great, it actually simplifies things. And you get a taste of all those bright colors. I think that's nice. So even though it's a dark background, it's definitely not a deep, dark cave inside. So in this bag, looking inside right away, you have a privacy pocket on the back wall. It does go pretty much all the way down to the bottom of the bag. It's like one finger above the bottom of the bag there and full width. So that is a nice, good sized pocket on that inside back wall. In front of that, you actually also have a nice elastic cargo that goes from there to the bottom as well. In the front of the bag, you have a full width and depth clear, clear view pocket. So nice zipper all the way across for that. Additionally, you have a key loop here. So it's just a loop, no clip and no bungee and no tether, just a short little sewn on thing. That is okay. However, I would, and this is another reason why, <laughs> this the clip piece should be on the other side so that I could clip it off and have that clip. And now I could put my keys on here and then I could clip this on that loop. And now I have all the pieces in the right places. That's just my opinion. See, it seems simpler that way. But otherwise, you have to get your own clip and clip whatever you want onto there or just disregard it. If you're not gonna use it, that's fine. Um, opposite side, so that's on the side wall. On the opposite side wall, there are two pen slots right there, which is really nice. Wait, did I just make that up? No, yeah, there really is. <laughs> two pen slots. But yeah, I like this bag, how it really opens up and you get down inside of it. That is very Ranger-like, but it's different than the Ranger. But if you, you know, flip that top back, you have full open. Yeah, so you can really see all the way in there. All right, so I guess we don't really need that, but put that away. And go on to the next bag. The next bag is also a new style and a new pattern. Not new, new, because I've had a couple items in this pattern already. And this is the Ranger XL in Sea Life Blue. <laughs> I'm laughing because I like this bag, but to me it's kind of like a puddle jumper with different configuration. I like both for different reasons, um, but I definitely wish this had backpack straps on it, like hideable or removable, even better, to give that carriage option, because you have these handles, which is great, not really long enough to fit over my shoulder, that's okay. Um, but it does have a crossbody shoulder strap. It has the um, trolley strap, which is great with the Velcro in the middle. But if I'm carrying this as a second carry-on, which I may or may not do someday, then I really like to have that other option as well. I actually bought this because even though I prefer this pattern as an accessory pattern, not the big outer bag pattern, my own reasons craziness I decided that this would be a good cruise bag so as one option for that second carry-on or for just bopping around the ship kind of bag taking out on excursions this is again why the backpack straps would be super convenient and important because as a carry-on I could use the trolley sleeve or carry it any which way but when I then want to take it and use it other ways while I'm traveling those backpack straps would be key it also would allow this to be um, like all of my other convertible backpack options, the canter, mini puddle jumper, um, etc., that could be a daily bag as well or a day trip bag. So, anyways, it is a great weekend bag, a great overnight bag. I, I did decide to go ahead and splurge on this pattern. I guess I was just in a frenzy after the Alpine and I was like, ooh, ooh, I'd buy another thing. Oh, I don't know. Um, on that note, if you're shopping on Lug Live and you buy hundred dollars worth of things in one order in your first order you get free shipping you only pay shipping one time for the week so I try to collect all my things I want to buy at the same time and get them all in the same week because I don't like to pay shipping <laughs> just to be honest I don't I spend way too much money on the products I don't need and that's not love specific I think love actually is very fair about doing what they do my bad though I wanted to check out so quickly on that Alpine because I didn't want to miss it that when I did that, then of course the two items together was definitely over hundred for sure, but I didn't get to take advantage of the free shipping because it's one order 
not the two. So I did only have to pay shipping once. I hope that was making sense to y'all. But some people did have that happen and they pushed back and got their refund on the shipping. I just let it go because it was my fault. I knew how it works and I did what I did. So anyway, that's a little bit of side story. Let's talk about the Ranger XL. So it has no slip grip on the back side of the handles and it does have extra fabric on the top. So altogether, those are pretty robust handles that you can really grab a hold of. They're not gonna like cut into your fingers or hold your hands. If you are a smaller person, not big like me, you maybe could put that on your shoulder, but that's really not happening for me, not in the least. But I could carry it on the crook of my arm, I can carry it in my hand, and of course I can use that shoulder strap. When you're not using these handles, they do have the metallic loops here, so they will lay flat, nice and flat, which is nice. They are not removable though, which is fine, but there you go. Oops. Okay, so other things on the bag. Right here, it has the cell phone pocket on the front, nice big vertical pocket. And then you have a double zipper on this big front pocket. I like big pockets and I could put, when I'm traveling, all these different accessory pouches and things. But this one has a lot of built-in organization. So there's your interior pattern with the stripes and sea life stuff all over it. I really do like that. It has an elastic key bungee with a clip on it. Always fun, very, very functional. This pocket is RFID, there's the tag. You have a big slip or like a cash door, so it's a built-in wallet. And then you have six card slots, three here and three here. This one did come with a Stay Strong card, so I'll put that with my other cards. We've got the warranty card, silica pouch, and we also have two pen slots. So going all the way across, you have your bungee, your wallet, and your two pen slots. Very nice organization. And then this has, you can see on the side here, you've got this thick of a gusset to it. So this will hold quite a lot. It may, depending on how you pack it, may make the bag a little front heavy. I don't know. Uh, I haven't tried it, obviously. I just got it. So we shall see. But definitely a lot of different pouches and things will fit in that pocket. I love it. I love it, love it. On the front side of the pocket, you also have a zipper privacy pocket. And it goes... Um, down to right about here. So it's it's a good bit of the pocket, like this this part right here. So that's a nice size pocket. Okay, okay. So that's the front of the bag. On the back of the bag, like I said, you have that trolley strap. You have a zipper pocket all the way across. No organization inside, but it is a full panel pocket and it is hooded, so you do have a little bit of extra space on the top to like get things up and under if you have a tall item. I really do like that interior pattern. It goes so nicely with the outside too. I really like it. Okay, then on the sides you have magnetic and elastic cargo pockets on both sides of the bag. That's always great. And now let's go to the inside. Inside, this is a Ranger, right? So just like the smaller regular Ranger, the zipper goes all the way down the sides. So you're really gonna be able to get into this bag, which is awesome. There's the base of the bag. So like I said, very puddle jumper-like. It's a, it's a north-south tote type bag. This does have a plastic coating on it and it does have plastic feet. I know you can't see them very well, but it has the four plastic feet on there as well. So great for travel, great for standing it on things, you know, while you're going about your life. It does have a nice wide strap and it is removable and adjustable, obviously. In the back, I'm looking to see here. In the back, you have a big cargo pocket. It's not lined or anything, just a nice big pocket. On the front, you have clear view on the top half, so that's just your clear pocket. It is a single large pocket, which is nice, that is my preference. And then you have, below that, you have two more elastic cargo pockets on that front wall. So very, very functional spacing. And then the rest is just a big open bag. It has really nice gussets on the side, as you can see. So when you're getting into the bag, it's not just gonna flop open, but boy, you can really get into that bag and see what's inside, which I love. So all those reasons, the accessibility, the organization, it's just the right proportions. And I kept trying to pass on it, but I had to get one, I'll just be honest. So. Add that to the travel bag collection. More new stuff. This has been a fun haul. So next up, we have the tenor in multi-dot navy. I really, really, I like everything about this. So 
First of all, I just think the dots are just super happy. Now, yeah, Crimson Orange Dot's happy and very Disney, Minnie Mouse, you know, whatever. But to me, this is just happy, happy. Like, not just Disney, but just everywhere, happy, happy, happy. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I think dots are happy. I also like this sort of giganticized <laughs> um, basket weave or crosshatch quilting on here. I think that's really kind of nifty, and it, it just gives a different look. All the different bags of all these different quiltings. I, I really like that they change it up and keep it interesting for us. So that it's not the same old, same old boring um, things. Not that any of them are boring. I like them all. So, all right. But this is a new style and a new pattern. It has these two top carry handles. These are like those nylon seatbelt straps folded and sewn in a little thing. I do like them. I like that it has top handle carriage. I, I really do. Um, I like that they're small. On the one hand because they they're just not intrusive they're just right there and you grab them they're not big enough to put over your arm or anything it's strictly a grab and hold like grab and carry or move it getting out of the car things like that uh, which is fine I do generally prefer like the Ranger XL with the metallic pieces so they'll lay flat when I'm not using them so they're that I don't have to like be constantly moving them out of the way to get into the bag when I'm carrying it cross body because I will carry it cross body Let's just be honest, that's what I do. Um, but I love the bag. It's simple, it's a great size, it's a medium handbag purse type bag. It has a cell phone pocket on the front, nice magnetic closure with the fleece lining. And then on the back, there's a zipper pocket all the way across. You open it up and it has two pen slots right here. Now we're getting our first look here of the interior pattern, which I also love. And it says love, right? in Morse code, which I just love the colors. It's purples and teals and blues with some pink thrown in there. So that's totally up my alley. I just, I love the color combination. Um, and it's super fun. So you get the different bits of it. And I don't know Morse code, but if you line up all the lines, it's like long, short, long, short, short, long, you know, it spells out love. I think that's super fun. Nice little twist. It's all in the details with Amy and Jason, super fun. It does have a cross body strap. It has these little loops on there. If you open it up, it's a zipper top closure with a little bit of a flap edge. And here's the strap. It is a nice wide strap, removable and adjustable. Inside, a couple of things. So first of all, let's, let's talk about, oh, that's hooked on there. That's okay, I'm gonna disconnect it. Okay, well obviously there's a bungee, <laughs> the elastic bungee strap. On the back of the bag, it has two cargo pockets. Both of those are soft lined with the fleece. And on the front of the bag, you have a clear plastic pocket, nice big one. You have card slots on the side. There's another Stay Strong card in here. So let me see, you have two card slots. So there's your clear view. And then over here on the side, vertically stacked, you have two card slots on that same wall. That's the front of the bag. You have your clear view and your pockets. And then I'm looking for, did I miss the pen slots? I know it has them somewhere in here, it must. Surely it must. I could be wrong. Huh, no, maybe not. I am not seeing them. If you know where they are, and I, wait, I lied. <laughs> we already found them. They're right here in the back pocket, <gasps> sorry. No, I wasn't going crazy. All right, but anyway, that's the bag. It does have a good amount of space to it. So it's a medium sized bag, but it's kind of the tiny but mighty concept because it is tapered. So wide at the bottom, narrow at the top. So it will hold a lot of stuff. I think it's just a great, very usable size. So there's your strap, put that back inside. Now, it also comes with a pouch in the matching color pattern. So. Perfect size to use with it. It definitely fits easily in that back pocket as well, but a great little pouch. It is quilted and padded, which is interesting because it gives it a sort of thickness. It's unnecessary, but delightful. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this pouch, you can clip it onto a keychain, you can put your keys on, you can put a wristlet strap on, use that sucker all by itself as a wallet. Um, you can use it as a tech pouch since it already has the padding built in. Um, you can use it with whatever bag you want. Now, I this doesn't have a name. It's just the pouch that comes with the tenner. But I'm going to keep pushing, and I hope you all do too, that 
We should be able to buy these separately. I suppose we kind of already can with the peekaboos, but that's a little bit different. This is something unique into itself. I would like to buy these separately because I love pouches and I gotta have them to match all my bags. That's just me. But that's my recommendation. Sell these, give them a name, sell them. All right, but this one, single zipper across the top. Inside, you have a privacy pocket with a zipper. And then on the opposite side, you have a cash door or a big slip. In front of that, you got more card slots. This one says, don't give up in butterfly gray. And you have six card slots. You have three and three, again, with that cash door. And opposite, you have the zipper. So there you have that interior pattern again, all the different colors and lines. And it's just a nice pouch. Yeah, I like it. I don't generally do built-in wallets. I do think, though, if this is... Um, well, here's what I think. I think that if this zipper went across and then down, it doesn't even have to go all the way down the side, but if it kind of came around the bend, that would allow you to get in there easier to really access those card slots because it's not awkward, I guess, but I just like a little bit more open <laughs> to get into things like that. I don't know, I'm just full of great ideas, right? Anyway, <laughs> things come out my mouth as soon as they hit the brain. There you go. So that is the tenor and its pouch. And tissue, I don't need that. Okay, next up we have, same pattern, but another new item. Now this is not new, new, it, well it is. It's the Cantor 2. So the Cantor is an older bag, this is the Cantor 2. There are a little bit of differences and hopefully I'll be able to highlight them as we go along. This is probably my favorite overall lug bag because I like the size. It's big enough and small enough. It's totally convertible. I love the versatility of it. It has the carriage handles. It has backpack straps that you can hide away. You've got crossbody shoulder strap. You really have the best of all worlds and you still have a trolley sleeve option. So it's everything. It's an everything bag. I carry this as an everyday purse for sure. I have a bunch of them already. But I just got two more, because this one and another one after, but I'll show you them both. So these top handles, they do have fabric all the way around. There's no no slip grip. It doesn't have the grippy grips, but I don't think it needs it, honestly, it's fine. They're really nice handles and they have those metal loops I was talking about, so that when I am carrying it crossbody, they lay flat out of the way and I don't have to fight with them when I'm trying to get into the bag. That's, that's great, I love that. Then, on the sides, you have cargo pockets. Usual look fashion. I love that versatility, especially on a bag like this. And it does, both sides have that magnetic closure. Now, looking at the front of this bag, on the original canter, you had basically the same big pocket on the bottom, and then you had the phone pocket up above. This one is better. You get a whole extra pocket. Yeah. So they move the phone pocket to a horizontal here on the front of the big pocket. So it's a pocket on a pocket, and then behind it you have that zip around opening, just like on the old Cantor, and you open that up and you have built-in wallet options. Look, another card, choose happy. I need to go through all my bags and pull those out and keep them together. Um, anyways, it has a nice pocket here that is fleece lined. For me, that's my sunglasses, generally speaking. I may change that and use that different pocket now. Inside, it has several things. It has a well, clear view ID window right there on the top. You can again see that wonderful, beautiful stripey pattern. You have three card slots. There's your RFID tag as well. It's a nice built-in wallet option. If you choose to use it that way, that's not my preference. It also has this elastic right here. And it's big enough you know, to fit my finger. So you can put a highlighter there, you can use it to hold pens, you can put your chapstick there, whatever you so choose. Um, for me, I might even use it to put one of my round external battery chargers for the phone. So many ways you can use that. Always full of ideas and ways to use things. And any given day, things change. Above that, now this is the new pocket. Whoops. Why is that catching? Okay. Above that, now you have this second pocket. So it's another zipper round. So I like those zipper round because they really open up nicely. This one is not fleece lined or anything, but it is still padded on, on there. So I might just put my sunglasses right there and then I don't have to worry about them getting 
competing for space. Um, this pocket does have its own definitive gusset, which you don't see on the bottom, but you see it on the side here. You've got a uh, finger, finger and a half width there. This pocket does also have a little bit too. It kind of tapers in at the bottom, but you do have space to it. So this would be perfect for holding like a GGB small set piece and some of my other Vera pouches for sure. All right, so that's the outside front. So let's look at the back. So, oops, sorry, my friend texted me. Uh, I'm delivering Christmas gifts tonight to my friends because we still haven't gotten together. We're all, all over the place. Anyway. All right, so you've got these nice padded backpack straps. They're not ergonomic or anything, but for the weight of this bag and the style and everything, they're very comfortable, very functional. They have no slip grip all the way down the backside. That's very helpful, especially if you're like me and you like grab and go and you just throw it over one shoulder. It stays pretty well on your shoulder, which is nice. But then you can detach them at the bottom and they have a little pocket right here on the top that you can just put them into their own little storage pocket. When you're using the bag, that then frees up that pocket for other things if you choose to use it for things. It is, it's kind of deep, it goes down in there. So another difference about this bag versus the old Cantor, and this I love because from the first Cantor I got, um, two things that I would have changed, I would have said make the zippers right side out because that's my preference, and change this to a zipper pocket instead of the Velcro. Yay, they did that. I'm super, super happy about that. Um, because I just like the zipper so much better. So that is a zipper pocket all the way across. It's just a, oh, I just zipped it. <laughs> zipper pocket, and it's just a nice big pocket, full panel pocket on the back there. Again, it doesn't really have a hood on this one. It has a little cover over the zipper, so it makes it a little bit hidden zipper, but it's not extra space up there. And then this one, instead of a strap, you have a full up trolley sleeve, so it's more robust but it's also more discreet. So I, I like that, I just think that's really high quality um, strap option. Now, I have preferences depending on the bag for whether I want the strap or the sleeve. We could talk about that another day, but um, as long as it's not a tight sleeve, then it's fine, it goes on and off easy. Doesn't matter for me because I'm not putting this on a trolley thing probably ever, because I carry big bags <laughs> for my carry-ons. Yeah, whatever, anyway. Um, so there you go. Beautiful canter in multi-dot navy. And the last bag in this haul, so it's really not a big haul, it's five items, but so much to talk about. This is the exact same bag, the canter 2, but the color is shibori purple. And of course I love purple. So this one has obviously a coordinating interior. So I'm gonna get in here and get my card. Live, laugh, lug, yay! And Inside there, you can kind of see the florals. I'll open up the in, see where you can get a better look at this pocket, or this interior, I mean. So in this pocket, you can kind of see it a better. It's just a beautiful florals, very simple, but nice, and it coordinates great with the outside. So same bag, different color. And um, I'm actually gonna move into this bag a little bit later, day after tomorrow. So I'll put together I was my bag in this exact bag for you. We also will take a side-by-side -side look of the Cantor versus the Cantor 2. So that will be coming soon as well. But that's it for this one. Hope you're having a great week and running into a wonderful weekend. See you again soon. Bye for now.